Hey Youtubers, Grimmy here and today we're taking a look at the new Transformers Age of Extinction Deluxe Class Scorn. The new Dinobots are finally hitting store shelves after a long wait and they're looking pretty good. So without further ado, let's take a closer look at Scorn here. Now Scorn here is a Spinosaurus. Oh, it's a nice red color with bits of orange and uh, gray. <laughs> or maybe gunmetal. It's hard to tell for certain, but it's a nice gray metallics. And it looks pretty good. I do like the look of it. The dinosaur mode is pretty nice. And actually uh, is painted very well. As you can see, both sides are actually painted evenly with the only difference being the Autobot symbol on this side which has a specific reason in mind for that but he has nice blue eyes an interestingly painted uh, gray like gunmetal beak and it's actually pretty good and for articulation he has um, left and right rotation at the uh, head or neck, an uh, opening jaw, ball jointed shoulders that mostly have forward backward movement. His hips are also ball jointed. Well, yeah, they're ball jointed, all right. <laughs> forward back, bend at the knee, another bend at this point here. And that kind of um, articulation is appropriate for a dinosaur since they usually do have those um, what, chicken leg styles. Even though they're not really chicken legs. <laughs> Still, fair amount of articulation. Um, if you wanted to break up the transformation a bit, you could trend, like move the tail too. But uh, mostly it's just going to be a static piece. Still, all in all, it's a very nice uh, figure and looks really cool. So let's uh, get Scorn here into robot mode and see how he looks there. Getting Scur um, Scorn in robot mode, you can really see that he takes a lot of cues from Beast Wars Megatron. Don't believe me? Um, have a look for yourself. This is the um, 10th anniversary um, remake of Megatron that's based like uh, from the Cybertron line. As you can see there is a lot of similarities. Right hand is a um, dinosaur head left hand is a tail <laughs> and the feet are dino feet although corn has his backwards which is a nice little touch so um, it's definitely a sweet uh, setup and it is a classic design so props for that and Scorn actually does his own thing with it with the uh, fin pretty much uh, forming back fins and he has that knight like hat head <laughs> sorry it's really does look like a helmet you know <laughs> yeah we'll get Megatron out of there since we don't need him there yeah. but yeah Scorn has a real nice design to him and you can have a few alternate ways to display the dino head if you prefer to go <laughs> rar rar like if you like to be more like that uh, Beast Wars Megatron and have that head um, just let the jaw be his hand if you can do that or he does have the hand that flips out and that works too um, you're technically supposed to have this whole thing open up and become a shield of course, I don't really like that look too much. It's 
especially since it leaves that huge gap in his arm. Better to have this uh, closed. But he does look pretty cool. Um, you know, and, well, since we shown him in beast mode, why not uh, show him with my guy in beast mode? I'll show him with my character in robot mode as well. And as you can see, he does scale pretty well with the uh, Beast Hunters Predacons, which is a good thing. You can have him mix in with those. Dinobots versus Predacons, <laughs> not bad. <laughs> but yeah, he's a pretty cool character. Look at that. Um, articulation wise, he has forward, backward at the arms or shoulders. Also has in and out movement, and that's true for both shoulders. Has a nice moving elbow joint on either side. Um, no wrist movement, unfortunately. Although this one does have some in and out, thanks to the head joint. You have waist articulation. Well, if you uh, do what I did with the waist, this piece here. I think the instructions had this going up into the back. But um, I'm taking Vangelis's tip and putting it into the um, sides here. You have um, hip articulation, ball jointed, thigh swivel, double jointed knees if you look at it that way. Thanks to the way the and toe articulation. Now, if you want, you can actually spread these um, armor bits out to really make his uh, legs a little thicker, or at least look a little thicker. <laughs> that one's up to you. It's a cool look, honestly, but you don't have to do it. And for accessories, he does include a nice little sword that hides in his tail. Looks pretty nice. It's a decent sized blade. It fits in there pretty well. And all in all, I'd say uh, Scorn here is a winner of a figure. He's pretty much one of my favorite Dinobots so far. Of course, we've only seen uh, two versions of Grimlock, Scorn and Slug. And we'll be getting to Slug a little later on. So. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this review. I'll see you around later. Take care, have fun, and bye-bye.